I don't know when you guys are going to watch this because I have a, a bunch of videos I need to produce before this one, but <laughs> if you're around LA or you know anything about it, we are having unprecedented amounts of rain here. <laughs> Whenever I think of LA, especially I talk to some of my friends that live around this area, they're like, you guys in Michigan or wherever, you have to deal with weather, but our weather is basically the same all the time. Sunny and dry, sunny and dry. Obviously that can be a problem, you know, if, if you're in drought, you know, in the middle of a drought, so rain is good. But it has been raining for like a week and it plans to rain even more, it's crazy. So I guess being stuck in a garage, sort of immobile and having to work on my van, it's a good thing. Today we have a big day. All the prep I think is done. Everything is taped off with exception to a few things in the back door here which I'll get done. Today I think we spray to hell or high water. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna put some uh, lizard skin on the interior of this van. Today's objective is to put on the first coat of sound deadener. Now over the course of my stripping down of the van and getting things prepped up I started to think this is going to be a pretty big job because I think I, I, might, I might not have enough material. At least for one coat, 100%, no problem. But for a second coat, I don't know. There are a lot of little cubbies and holes and things like this, especially in the doors that I've opened up and things like that, where, where we might have almost a weird issue of not have enough material for two coats. There's a lot of sound deadener in that van already, and I will go ahead and spray a nice, nice, comprehensive first coat and then if I don't have enough for the second coat I'll just uh, the, the second coats 24 hours later anyway so that'll be tomorrow and if I don't have enough I'll just uh, use whatever I have in the remainder to spray areas that I think need touching up the thermal barrier is is going to be uh, just as important and I hope that I can give it a nice thorough coating at least at least one and one at least I'm in here nice and dry we're warming the place up we're getting ready to go Chayo. So I taped off everything. I got it all ready to go. Uh, basically, it's all tented off in the back here. I even made a little door here that we can go into. And I was ready to get spraying. I started a, a little bit of an Instagram live stream, just sort of telling everybody what I was going to be doing and and like what to look at. And you know, I'm just trying to, you know, <laughs> being on social media is. Is crazy because you're you're balancing a million different things your, your life obviously but you're also trying to share and when I started doing YouTube like a decade ago it was just like YouTube YouTube and Facebook but now you got to post pictures and short videos and long videos and and reels and and snippets and stories and just you know and then then in live stream on Instagram and, and just a million different things so I'm, I'm on there and I'm looking around and I'm like touching things and I'm like, wait a second, this van is still very dusty and, and dirty. And I think from the, uh, from the um, spraying of the primer, all of that primer dust was everywhere and it got on everything. And there's a coat of dust everywhere and I have to get this dust off before I spray. I don't want to be spraying. It's, it's bad enough that I have all of this uh, sound deadening material that I'm going to spray over, but I don't want to start on such a wrong foot that I'm leaving all of this dust caked on everything. So I've got to go through this whole van again and try and clean off as much of this dust as I can before I before I start spraying. Got to do it. All right guys, so uh, we are uh, gonna open a container of lizard skin and start spraying it on. I, I am more nervous now than I was before. You know, making YouTube videos, I, I try to make sure I don't make too many mistakes, you know? And I took some mineral spirits and a towel and I just started wiping things, just thinking I could wipe off the dust. But I ended up wiping off the primer I sprayed yesterday, thinking, Maybe I, that, that mineral spirits is acting more as a paint thinner than anything. And then I started wiping everything and everything started coming off. I mean, I guess I could wipe. Oh, that's on there pretty good. Uh, this is not recommended, but I'm going to spray on the lizard skin over this. 
I'm, I'm, I, I don't know how this is going to go. I hope it's going to go well. If I can get it to adhere to this, this surface, and then I'll build walls and surfaces over this. And I don't have days in order to go ahead and redo this. Because that's kind of what it's going to take. It's going to take days. I'm going to go through this, I guess, for another hour. Just try and make sure I get the areas where I can. But yeah, maybe I should take some more time just just to try and I don't know. I'm I'm not I'm not very happy with what this could potentially turn into, which is a debacle. I guess I'll know as soon as that first coat is on. You know, but once that first coat is on, the first coat is on. There's no turning back at that point in time. Not that I'm thinking about turning back, but just to give you an idea, like look at this. Look at that. I thought primer was supposed to stick on the surfaces. I scored this. I scored it yesterday with sandpaper. I don't even want to show you guys this. I'm so bummed that I don't even want to show you guys this because you're going to you're going to ridicule me. I was told by the crew at Lizard Skin that this stuff, this stuff will stick to anything. It's 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 pretty pretty durable stuff. Oh, I'm gonna give it a run for its money. Once the lizard first coat of Lizard Skin is on, then everything else is gonna adhere to that. So there won't be much, you know. I won't be able to see what this mess unless you know the stuff just starts peeling off down the road. Just starts peeling, peeling, peeling. All right. going on That smells nice. That's not good at all. That's not so bad. That goes on pretty good. Actually, I think that that adhesive that was on there is actually doing some good. Keep a bucket of water around you. It's, it's water-based, so if you can get it off quick, It'll come off real good. All right, so I'm gonna let this stuff sit for a little while. I did a little piece on the ceiling right there. I did a little piece on the wall right there. I did this area here and this area here. I'll tell you what, first impressions, anywhere where there's really, really rough adhesive, where, where like I was, he, he sprayed adhesive the, uh, the entire van and then, and then stuck uh, in, insulation onto it. Seems like those areas are binding really well. It's binding to the ad ad adhesive. It's not binding to the paint, which I guess it's something is better than nothing. This area here is, is just paint, and then this area here was where the thinner was not really doing a very good job. I'm going to let this go for a little bit, and then later I'm just going to try and touch it and see how it, uh, see how it goes. We'll just take a little break. Deep breath. We'll figure it out. All right, guys. One more thing. Well, that stuff cures, and I called a friend of mine. He said... You're probably okay. As long as you spray over everything, um, even if you have some spots that aren't uh, perfect as far as prep goes, it should be okay. I wiped most of the dust off, and he said that the primer will still adhere 
but in order to make it bond to the floor and some of these surfaces with the kill mat on it, I was thinking, I wonder if I could literally score through the, the basically this top coat, which is just a piece of foil, basically. And I thought, what a good idea. Just get a wire brush and then just beat it. Because the, the pricks on the wire brush are going to prick right through right through the, um, the, the, uh, the shiny stuff. And here, I'll show you. So there's the shiny stuff, but, and there's the wire brush. That's, that's a much more uh, appropriate surface for allowing that stuff to bond. I just have to go over. I just have to go over everything. All right, guys. I, I punctured the kill mat on the on the floor. On the ceiling, I don't think it's necessary. This is the patch that I sprayed on this sort of glossy part of the ceiling. And it seems to be holding really well. I did uh, another patch here that's holding well. This is like really, really fuzzy, like, cause I couldn't get all of the adhesive off and that's going on really, really well. This patch of floor um, is not dry yet. So I can't really say too much, but the glossy part is, um, is pretty easy to wipe off. Um, but I think that if I go with a lighter coat and then go over that, I think that would be better. I, I really kicked it on here just to sort of see. I don't know, it's a lot better than it was. Like I said, I scored the uh, surface of the kill mat, so that's good. I'm just gonna start spraying. I gotta put on my little hazmat suit and uh, fill up a container, clean out the water bucket. Let's go, Jayo. It's, it's going on real good. I think it might be going a little heavy though, so I gotta go a little lighter and uh, Jayo. <laughs> it's fun. One of the best things that I ordered was this light. Oh man, inside there, because this chemical is so dark, by the time you go in there, all you can see is, is blackness. And so you can like look up and around and use this light to like really, really like get into things. Let's go. All right, we finished. We used two buckets, so that leaves three. Where's the third one? There's the third one. So I didn't even go through half. Oh, I'm glad. I'd rather have too much and too little and then end up having to deal with not enough. But I really thought that, <laughs> guess you never know until you do it. All right. I thought that went on really well. Um, being that it's water-based, it's super easy. Even if you know, a little water gets with it, it just sort of dilutes a slight bit. Those places will take a little bit longer to cure. But it is 624. I was, I've been at it all day for, for the first coat. I think tomorrow will be quicker, or I hope. 
I hope tomorrow will be quicker, but I have to let it cure for 24 hours or so. I'll have to read the instructions again and see if, you know, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I do it in the afternoon. Anyways, I'm going to clean up all my stuff. Um, this was really, really nice. I think I can probably reuse this one tomorrow. Um, I think. And I'm going to use the other one for the ceramic coating. Ugh. Metamorphosis. Very happy. It does smell like ammonia. It's a very, very thick, a heavy smell of pneumonia, but it's not, it's not horrible. I didn't feel sick at all. Although we'll see tonight if I feel as sick. Let, let me show you. Takes a while for my camera to adjust now. Yep, here we go. I didn't coat these. These are where the glass is going to go. All the way to the cab's done. Oh, that looks like I need to spray a little harder, but it's okay. I'll just go crazy. I'll, I'll go heavy with it on the coat tomorrow. I don't want to touch it, but it does look kind of cool, huh? I don't know what that blue came from. That I think that's what happens when a, a like a drop of water accidentally falls on it. There we go. All right, I'm going to back out. It's a little stinky in here. Fast forward a little bit. Can't quite get all the paint off my hands, even though I tried to wear gloves. Uh, not the whole time, but I opened up all the doors now and uh, I'm, I'm sort of letting it cure. Looks pretty good. You know, this is gonna this is gonna harden up like like a rock almost, I think. And then the second coat's gonna go on, and it's gonna lay over this. It's gonna get even harder. And then the third coat, the sound deadener, is gonna go on, and then the second coat of the sound deadener is gonna go on. I I, th I think this is gonna look really good. I even got inside the door here. So the inside the door areas now got sound deadener on the inside and I aluminum foiled all the all the hinges and stuff so that's good. Yeah. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I need to, I need to get out of here for a little bit. Uh, I have a membership to Planet Fitness and so I'm going to take the 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 truck to Planet Fitness. Well, Ninja, the guy who runs the shop, he has a has a has, has a shop vehicle and that's 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 as complimentary as i can get on that thing it is <laughs> it's rough but there's a planet fitness a couple of couple of miles away i'm gonna take my shower stuff there take a shower my room is right right there i think you can see the light i think that's that's the room right there yeah yeah, yeah that's that's my my bedroom sort of cooped up, cooped up in the shop and a couple of days ago i think i earned ninja's trust I think uh, the first day he was just like, I'm going to lock you in here, you, you know, relax, blah, blah, blah. The second day he was like, hey, here's the keys to the, to the shop vehicle, uh, you know, if you want to go out and have a cup of coffee or something. And so I definitely took him up on that offer. It was very nice to get out of here uh, <laughs> for a little while. But there's a heater here, so we're keeping the place warm, even though it's sort of cool outside. The headliner is a huge thing. This. This is gonna make a huge difference. Um, and I even went in that pocket there. That thing was is very, very cavernous. And I was able to squirt all the way up in there, everywhere, you know, and all these beams. It's gonna be pretty cool. And then tomorrow's coat is gonna be even better. So why don't we go for a drive? And we'll get, we'll get a shower and then maybe a cup of coffee or something. I've had a few vehicles in my life. Some of them had this this odor. This is the smell of a car that's been used and abused. <laughs> I think he picked this thing up, uh, you know, after uh, after a while. So he didn't he didn't abuse it so much. He kind of bought it while it was already a little old. Get a shower and get some grub. Catch you later. All right, guys. Fast forward again. I have. Uh, gone to the gym showered ate some dinner and now i'm headed back to the shop tomorrow we will spray the second coat of the sound deadener i'll be able to fill in some of the some of the blanks after it's all solidified and stuff maybe i'll have a chance to take a look at it and uh, get a good eye on on how good of a quality this is this is going to be and if i made any mistakes i'll be able to correct them hopefully 
interesting long day and very creative like like painting a picture and the van is my palette so um yeah take it easy guys jayo and uh like subscribe share comment and i'll see you tomorrow